Hi everyone! So this is the first video in a small series that I'm doing. I'm gonna do like product reviews basically. Um, so this video is going to be the face products that I really enjoy. Um, I have concealers, some foundations, and some powder foundations. That's what I'm gonna start with today. So um, the first concealer I'm going to talk about, um, this one's a very basic concealer. It's more of like a meh, um, but I have used it a few times and it's okay. You know, um, I used it today. It is kind of settling into lines, but that's okay. Um, I think I have to set it with a powder next time. I think that would work out a lot better to be honest, but <laughs> Um, before I ramble too much, this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer. Um, I am in the shade, or the shade I picked out, I should say, is 110 Nude Ivory. Um, it is the lightest shade. I prefer my, um, under eyes, or my eye area, really, to be lighter than my actual skin tone. Um, I just like it that way. But, yeah, so this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. Excuse my pump. Um, like I said, it's, it's like a meh, it's a good one to like, just kind of keep in your like travel, um, travel bag and stuff. It's, it's meh, <laughs> but I use it anyway. Um, so next one is the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer. Um, I love this stuff. I think it's great. Um, it's very buildable. Um, so don't be frustrated if you have to really go in with it. Um, my favorite part is the brush applicator. I think it makes things a lot easier. Mine's a little dirty, sorry. Um, but I love this for contouring, for, for really anything. Um, like I said, it is buildable. Um, I'm in the color Vanilla. All right, so that's uh, the LA, LA Girl Pro Conceal. Love this stuff. Super cheap, um, very affordable, and it's just a great quality for the price. All right, next is the uh, e.l.f. 16-Hour Camo Concealer, the matte finish. Um, I do prefer the matte finish to the satin finish. Satin finish is the white cap, and the matte finish is the black cap. But these concealers rock. These are fantastic. Um, people say the satin formula is a good dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. I don't necessarily agree, but I do see where they're coming from. But like I said, I do prefer the matte finish. This is a very light shade. This is Fair Beige. Fair Beige. I don't know. It won't focus. Sorry. Um, but yeah, so um, this is a pretty good concealer. It is creamy. It does dry kind of fast. Um, but it's a great matte concealer, especially for the price. Finally, for concealers, my Holy Grail. Tarte Shape Tape. You know it, you love it. Um, I am in the shade Fair Light Neutral, which is 16N. Yeah. Um, I did get this for free at work uh, after I became a Diamond member. You Once you hit Diamond membership, you get uh, a free product, one of which is the Tarte Shape Tapes. So uh, if you have the Ulta app, I highly recommend it. Um... But yeah, so, such a good concealer. It's perfect. Um, this is the regular formula. I know there's like a creamy formula as well, but I, this is the original formula. This is what I prefer. So beautiful. Um, excellent finish, excellent blendability, beautiful colors. It's just, it is the best concealer on the market, in my opinion. Um, it is a little pricey, which sucks. Like I said, I got mine for free. But it is worth repurchasing. Um, I just, I do wish the price was lower. I agree with people on that. But love this concealer. The best, best on the market. All right, so now let's talk about foundations. I'll go from meh to what I recommend the most. Um, so let's start with something simple. Uh, the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. And I'm in the color Ivory. This is the old packaging. Um, they did redo the packaging, but the formula is the same. Um, this stuff is pretty great. Um, this is a good cheap option. 
Um, definitely, definitely do recommend it. Um, especially if you're a beginner with makeup, this is a great matte foundation. Um, it's just, you know, the coverage is great. It is full coverage. Um, the color range could be better, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so the Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1, I do enjoy it. Um, it's just, you know, it's on the lower end of things that I typically use, but I do... I do recommend it, um, whether it goes with the concealer, um, I haven't tried them together, um, but that is definitely, definitely an idea for another day. Um, so the next, um, sort of beginner's foundation I recommend, so like I said, this one's a matte finish. This is the, uh, ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. Um, this stuff is really great for the summer. Um, I used it, I've, oh God, I couldn't even tell you how long I was using this. Um, I'm in the color Light 40N. The shade range for these is pretty fantastic. Uh, ColourPop did a good job with that. Um, I do, do recommend this one, uh, if you have dry skin. Um, it is hydrating, but it is not greasy. It doesn't, you know, you don't look oily and greasy by the end of the day. Sorry, my pump. Um, so this is a pretty good one. Uh, if you have dry skin, I have combination skin, so I can bounce back and forth between like a dewy foundation and a matte foundation, but I would say this is pretty dewy. Um, but like I said, totally worth it. Very beautiful on the skin. Um, so next, uh, this is a face product, but it is technically not a foundation. Um, the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Um, this stuff is pretty rad, I will say. Um, I'm in the color Shade 2 Fair Light. I probably could have gotten away with the fair, but that's okay. Um, so this stuff is pretty awesome. You can mix it with your foundation. You can use it as a highlighter. You can use it on bare skin. Um, it definitely gives you some color. It looks very orangey in the bottle, but it's not that bad on the skin, depending on how much you use. Um, but I would say be light-handed with it because of the color. But it is just, it's a beautiful product. I completely understand the hype. Um, uh, like I said, it is a booster, so it's not a foundation, but it does give you a little color and a lot of glowy shine. Um, it's just, it's very pretty. You know, you can use it on your body, on your face. Um, also, my favorite part about this, I will show you real quick. The other two were pump bottles, but look at it. It's a giant doe foot. <laughs> this thing's huge. I don't know. I just love that. I think that's cool. But yeah, I recommend mixing this with your foundation or your moisturizer. I think it, it looks good that way that because then there's something to kind of diffuse the color of it. But it is it is absolutely beautiful as far as the glow. Um, so next is the foundation. This is the Maybelline 30 Hour Super Stay Active Wear Foundation. This stuff rocks. Um, I do love it. Um, this is a good on the go foundation. Um, it's great for the price. I'm in the color 112 Natural Ivory. Um, so yeah, this stuff this stuff rocks. Um, I wouldn't say 30 hour, but this does really have a long lasting uh, grip to it. Um, I'd say the longest I wore this was like 13 hours, and it was awesome. Um, definitely may need to touch up at some point, but to be honest, it's the longevity is really great. So I definitely recommend this one especially for long days. Now, um, this is my, I guess, holy grail liquid foundation right now. Um, this is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. Oh my God, I use this so much. I use it almost every day. The formula is amazing. Um, you know, color range could be a little better, but it's pretty good. Um, I'm in the color Vanilla. There we go. Um, so, uh, yeah, it says 24 hour matte finish. I would agree. This stuff really, really lasts. It's such a great formula. Like, 
can't get over this. I bought this on a whim because it was on sale and I didn't really, I was like, ah, eh. but I'm so glad I tried it. I love this stuff. I think it's amazing. So this is like my absolute recommendation more than the others, but, um, you know, it depends on your, uh, skin preferences. But those are my liquid foundations, um, or yeah, liquid foundations and one booster. Now let's talk about powder foundations. I have three here that I recommend. So this one is more of like a meh, kind of like the concealer was, but this is the Juvia's, Pl Juvia's Place I Am Radiance Powder Foundation. Um, I'm in the color Madrid, which is like light one, I think, but... Um, it's a very velvety powder, um, definitely a matte finish, um, but yeah, I'd say it's very velvety, um, very, it's a good color range for this collection, but I will say it's very difficult to find your color. If you are going to use something from that collection, whether it's the powder or the liquid foundations, get color matched in the store. Do not buy it online. The, um, the shade matcher, at least the one on the Ulta app is not accurate with this collection because I tried the color Cairo and it was just straight up orange on me. It was like borderline offensive, uh, the color it was against my skin. Um, cause obviously I'm very pale, but yeah, um, I'm the color Madrid in the powder foundation. Um, the only downside to this that I found is when you use it a ton of fallout. I got powder everywhere when I used this earlier. Um, so be wary of that. And like I said, get color matched in the store because the colors are a little confusing, but it is a beautiful collection and I do like the powder foundation. So that's like a meh recommendation because these two that I'm about to talk about. So let's start with the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation in a powder. This shit is so good. Um, it went viral when it first came out, and I completely understand why. Um, I'm in the color 120 Vanilla. There's a running theme here with my colors, apparently. Um, but this stuff is unreal. I love it. Velvety matte, full coverage, so pretty. Um, absolutely adore this formula. I love this stuff. If they ever stop selling this stuff, I'm going to be devastated to be honest. But, um, this is, it ties with my number one recommendation pretty much, but this stuff, this was my first love before I discovered my number one recommendation and I will use this until they stop selling it. I'll be real. It's amazing. But the number one spot, uh, belongs to a newer product the Maybelline Superstay 24-Hour Hybrid Powder Foundation. I'm in the color 120. They don't have names for this. Uh, it just goes by numbers. So I'm the color 120. And I've obviously hit pan on this. Um, <laughs> that's okay. This stuff is amazing. This is my number one powder foundation. I It's full coverage. It's beautiful. I, I just, I can't get enough of it. Um, this is my number one for sure. Um, I did buy a second one. Thank God it was sold out for a while. My color in particular was gone for like two weeks. I was freaking out, um, cause it is newer, but you know, some companies do pull newer products quicker. Um, especially if they're not super successful in sales, they will pull it. Um, and replace it with something else, but thank God, uh, they restocked all their colors. So I do have another one in my drawer as backup, but, uh, this, this stuff rocks. Like I can't recommend this enough to like everyone. Um, so yeah, as far as face products, um, that is my recommendations for everyone. I really do enjoy these products, even the meh ones. Um, you know, if I have to pick number ones from each category, um, for concealers, the Tarte Shape Tape is number one for me. Um, for liquid foundations, the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop, uh, full coverage is my number one for liquid foundations. 
And for powder foundations, my number one is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour uh, powder foundation. Um, those are my absolute like top tier, what I use every day products. Um, but like I said, all of the products I talked about have positives to them. So depending on your skin type or like what you're looking for. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, the first video in this series. Um, these were my face products. Um, I hope that you enjoy the recommendations. I hope that you give them a try and thanks for joining me.